Hi everyone, this is Yakir from Arc Intelligence. In today's video, we are going to learn how to use the Plantin Region tool in the environment for Revit plugin in order to represent some beautiful planting plants. Basically, this tool allows you to automatically create a field region for multiple components, like you can see right now in this example. This method allows you to present your planting design in colors without showing all the heavy planting families in the view. Hiding the family in the view will help you to improve the computer performance and reduce the load in the view. So let's start by opening a project that contains planting families on it. And for those of you who want to learn more about placing and designing planting plants, check out our video on the area scatter tool. Okay, so back to the project. Go to the environment tab and in the presentation panel, click on the drop down arrow next to the tree connection tool. Then click on the planting region. In the planting region dialog box, choose the planting and assemblies option and you will be able to pick planting families and assemblies to create from them field regions. You can pick one by one while holding the control key or draw a selection box. If you want to create assembly for the picked families, just mark this checkbox. Now you can choose any field region type that exists in your project from this list or click on the edit type button to create a new field region type without leaving the command. You can assign comment to the field region if you want to. In the applied view windows, you will see all the floor plans and area plans in the project. And you can mark the views that you want the field region will apply to. With this option, you won't have to copy the field region from one view to another. Now click apply to finish the process without exiting the command and choose if you want to create one field region for all the selected elements or not. You can keep going and pick more single components and assemblies of components to create those field regions. Once you are done, click finish to complete the command and exit. Now let's enter again to the tool and choose the planting region option instead the planting and assemblies. And you can now pick existing region and edit them. For example, you can change the type of the field region. You can choose with this checkbox if you want that the field region cover the entire area of the planting or to show holes in the spaces between each plant. Last thing before we finish, if you are working with a planting assembly, you can add the assembly content parameter as a comment to the field region. This parameter contains predefined information about the assembly content and allows you to easily tag the field region as if it was the planting assembly itself. Like this. So that's it. You can continue create field region to your entire project, tag them and create some nice and beautiful planting plants. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more new videos.